<clears throat> Para Digital Para. This is, uh, I'm back with drumming. <laughs> Trying to piss off the neighbors. <laughs> Not really. Let's do my thing. Well, hey, let's do a little quick lesson here, right? If you want to work on your doubles, a good way to do that is what I call a call and answer, right? So you have singles. One and a two and a three. That's your bass, right? Then you switch to morph it to double. So one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. And then you can do paradiddles. Paradiddle, 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 paradiddle. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Combine those all together in succession. So this is your bass, right? One E and a two E and a. So let's just let me run through it. Right? The ultimate goal, though, is to keep everything uh, even, right? Every every note, regardless of when you switch from one to another, should sound the same. You know, it's a little bit difficult with doubles, but, you know, it's it's a learning process, you know. I ain't no freaking expert at it either, but that's why you work in practice, right? So, again. And always start slow, right? Slow, smooth, smooth, fast, right? You can morph the paradiddle as well. Move the accent around. So, that's right. That's an exercise they select to do. It's like. Same hand pattern, and just moving the accent from the one, the E, the and, and the uh, right? So one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and a three. Uh, it's a challenge, though, to count out loud and play at the same time. It's one of the things that... I learned at MI, and uh, it's helpful. It, it really dials your time, your your internal clock, in a way. You know, so anyway.
Roger out. <laughs> I think I pissed the neighbors off enough now.